in the last years I got three finals. One day after I left, I was I was ready to to go. I wear the shirt and I fight for them. Cristiano opened the door in terms of people believing that it's possible to be there. Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano here. Welcome back on the channel. Special moment, special day. We are here with an exclusive interview with Jose Mourinho, thanks to Tops. We are here for the special launch of the UEFA Euro 2024 cards and collectibles. It's a special day for Tops. It's a special day for us with the legend Jose Mourinho. Enjoy the interview. <music> Pleasure to see you. My Thanks pleasure. Thanks a lot for, for your time. Thanks for being here. What I want to start to ask you is you already look, and I can see that in your eyes, ready for next chapter, ready to return. What's your feeling now? What's your feeling on what's next? Your, your feeling is right. <laughs> I'm, ready to, I'm ready to start. And sometimes when you, you end in a club, you feel the need of, of a rest, of a sink, uh, you know, process uh, things. In this case, one day after I left, I was, I was ready to, to go. I, I feel strong, I feel good, I, I, I love the work, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really ready. But I don't want to make the, the wrong choice. I cannot uh, accept something just because of the feeling and just because of the passion to be back. So I have to be, to be patient. And normally we are in, in March. Is, is something going to happen March, April? Difficult. It's very, very difficult. So my objective is uh, to start next summer. You are the only one with two European finals consecutive. So in, in, in two years, what you did is Again, impressive as the, the entire history. What's the feeling about that? It gives you also the... <laughs> you know, the first feeling is that um, it looked like this didn't happen. <laughs> uh, because people, when they speak about me normally, they are more focused on what happened 15 years ago, 12 years ago, 10 years ago, 8 years ago. Yeah. Um, and this is true. Uh, with so many great coaches uh, in Europe. Um, and normally the great coaches are coaching the best teams with more possibilities to get <laughs> into finals. In the last years, I got three finals, the one with Man United and the two with Roma. And if we focus just on the past two years, I am, <laughs> I am the only one with two European finals. Yeah. So is, I look at it with a little bit of, with a little bit of fun but at the same time with some pride, because especially when you do with a team, with a club, without history, yeah. without history in, in Europe, you realize that was really something, uh, something special. But this season I'm not going to play a final, <laughs> but I hope that the next season I can say I'm the only one in the past four years that did three European finals. Yes. And as you mentioned, um, maybe sometimes they speak about you 10 years ago and, and what you did in the past, but the fans still have in their heart everything you do everywhere, here in Italy, but also in all the other countries, in England, Chelsea fans were chanting your name last weekend, May United fans still love you, and it's the same, obviously, in Portugal, in Spain, in Real Madrid. What is the feeling when you see all these fans still loving you after a long time? The first feeling is, I, I always say that the best thing football has are the fans, uh, because the fans, they don't make money with football, they spend money with football. <laughs> they lose money. Uh, sometimes they spend money that the family needs and they make sacrifices because of the passion for football and especially for the passion with their clubs. So normally they are fair. Yeah. Um, when the club fans don't like the player don't like the coach for some reason. Uh, it's not because beautiful eyes, it's not because handsome guy. They love it or they don't love it for some reason. Yeah. In my case, um, independent of 
uh, results. Of course, I had the luck to have always something um, to celebrate, something to, to, for the fans to have a good memory of me. Yeah. But I, I, see, I think that something that they see is then you are committed to them. Yeah. And I'm always committed to, to my club. Fans, doesn't matter which country, doesn't matter which, uh, which club. So I think they have a feeling that I give everything. Yeah. And because of my personality, you know, in the end, I'm always going to be more than a coach. Um, in some, some club structures, then you have to be uh, the coach. Then you have to be the technical director. director. Then you have to be the communication yeah. director. Then you have to be the, the image that defends uh, the club, the players. And that is something that people realize. Yeah. But at the same time, is something that the coach doesn't like. <laughs> because myself as a coach, what I want to be is a coach. Yeah. I, the ideal scenario is when the club has a structure that allows the coach to be the coach. On the pitch. On the pitch, on, on the training ground, on the dressing room, on the touch line, but be the coach. I was the coach at Inter. I was the coach at Real Madrid. I was the coach in my first spell at, at Chelsea. Uh, I was the coach at Porto. In some other clubs, I was not the coach. So that is very difficult for a coach. Yeah. Very difficult for a coach. But I think my relation with every football club where I've been working, the fan base, I think the base of everything is that they see, I arrive, I wear the shirt, and I fight for them. You are one of them. And the final question I wanted to ask you is when you had to say no, in some cases, I guess it's tough when it's about Portugal, if it's still in your thoughts, maybe for the future, I'm sure it will return this possibility. And also to Saudi, this new project, they approached you already one year ago, they tried again recently. So what's your feeling also on this new world of Saudi into football? You know, my feeling with Portugal is I had two twice the door open please come and the place is uh, is yours uh, once was when i was in in real madrid and the objective was to be the portuguese coach in a part time um, and that i realized when the president florentino told jose it's not possible it's not possible easy to accept this second time, do I regret not taking it? Mm. Uh, because a few months later, I was sacked in, in Rome. I don't regret. Mm. I don't regret because the reason why I didn't accept, I'm, I'm happy with the reason. I'm happy with the reason. So I don't, I don't regret. To coach a national team tomorrow, is an objective. If you ask me tomorrow, I'm not sure I was going to be happy. I'm not sure I was going to be... If you tell me before the, the World Cup, before the Euros, before the, the Copa America, before the African Cup, I would say yes, you know, <laughs> I would say yes. But two years waiting for that or work, I, I don't know. Um, maybe one day I accept, but I'm, I'm not sure that I was going to... Yeah to enjoy it. So the, uh, I think um, Cristiano opened the door in terms of people believing that it's possible to be there, to live there, to enjoy there, to enjoy the development of, uh, of a country that wants to be a different country with a football that is a passion but is not developed. I think Christian opened open the door. Um, when I had the proposal, uh, of course, economically was uh, important. Um, I refused because it uh, was more important for me. Uh, Roma, European football, objectives, uh, commitment was more important to, to me. If you ask me in the future, you know, experience 
taught me to, to say never say never. Uh, but if you ask me um, why I'm traveling today to Saudi, I'm traveling today to Saudi <laughs> because I'm going to enjoy three days watching boxing, watching Formula One, yeah. uh, being with some friends. It's not because I'm going to sign any contract, any contract <laughs> uh, because now I have time until the end of the season to make the right decision for me. Thank you. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Pleasure. And so that's it, guys. Fantastic insights, fantastic comments, as always, by the legend Jose Mourinho. Thanks again to Jose. Thanks again to Tops for this special opportunity. And see you soon here on the channel.